Well, remember that lumber yard that I built a year ago? <laughs> I finally decided to put it on my layout. I found a home. I'll show you what I did. Well, if you remember, several months back, I built this uh, lumber yard um, for my layout, but I didn't exactly know where I was going to put it, so it's been sitting around. But I'm getting ready to install it on the layout now. So I thought I'd give you a look at that inside. I don't know how well you'll see it once the layout's on. But, um, yeah, I got some uh, in this corner up here. There's some cedar, some redwood. Down here's some insulation. Uh, kinda, there's windows and doors in the back. I don't know if you can see them in there. So, yeah, that's kind of cool. And then... Um, the other shed uh, is filled with lumber also. Yeah. So I put all those uh, lumber piles together. Uh, I'll, I'll hook up the video that showed me building the, the kit and how I made the piles of lumber. Uh, to the annotations of this video if you want to go back and look at it. Well, I made this um, shelter uh, out of some leftover pieces from the lumberyard kit. This is actually some cardboard for the floor. And uh, um, same type of wood piles that I made, you know, for the lumberyard can see all kinds of things in there. There's uh, your framing lumber, there's some impregnated sheathing or blackboard, plywood. I have some fence posts here. Here's some tar paper and at this end I've got some uh, rows of metal flashing and uh, I suppose you could look at these as, as bags of something or bundles of roofing. So you see the plywood stacks from the back. So, I I didn't have the lumber, uh, you know, glued into the building. So that's what I just did, getting this ready to put it on my layout. So I masked out this area over here where the buildings are going to be. Just kind of like, well, the, f the, the fronts that are facing the... Uh, the gravel parking area or loading area, whatever you want to call it. So I cut the tape that represents the front of the buildings and I glued down, I put some glue on the uh, on the table and then I um, sprinkled this on there. And that's how I start off with this. And I just pat it down and um, you know, it, it sticks to the glue, and uh, that's how I start off, and then I uh, take my little vac, and I vacuum it up, and uh, everything loose comes up, and then I fill in uh, any spots that I need to. That works out pretty good. I like it. I like it when I finally get to a point where I can see, you know, it's coming together a little bit, you know. And that's going to go in there. I got to do some touch up there in the front. Well, I yeah. uh, built a couple more piles of lumber and put them on my lumber trucks. Put some windows on this one here. Yeah, those will work nice. And this goes back to, you know, my working days. I remember, I remember getting windows delivered this way. They were strapped to the back of the truck like that, coming to the job site. And, you know, framing materials for the houses. And that'll fit in real good. Well, today I installed the two sheds and um, put the fence up on this outside shelter and I added a little man back there 
and there's a forklift working in the yard and I put the name of the building on the office but the office isn't installed added a couple more figures to that building and then if I swing around I did put some decals on the end of this building then I put some signs on the back of that building there and started the landscape so did a little work today Well, I hope that gives you some ideas for your lumber yard. I had, uh, had fun building it when I built it, and I'll link that uh, video to the end notations and uh, to this video. Uh, I just wish it wouldn't have taken a whole year <laughs> to get it on my layout. Uh, I'm happy with the way it came out. I mean, I, I start things, and I'm, I'm actually surprised at... You know, it looks better than I thought it was going to be when I when I first you know came up with the idea to do it. So I hope it gives somebody some ideas on how they could do something to their layout. Anyway, I'll catch you on my next one. You guys have a great day.